everyone checking in on the cryptocurrency sector so we have a whole bunch of correlation this morning i'm not going to go back and look at it because it'll be a really long video but if you look at spy oil u.s oil gold and bitcoin from about 9 30 to 10 30 a.m eastern they are all doing the same thing we had bitcoin make a bull move to test the top of the bounce of six thousand dollars last night into futures open we rejected and then smashed down as the futures open was extremely weak and the same thing happened in futures. So it was like the bulls were running and ready to go. Here we go. The Fed's printing a whole bunch of money and markets are going to be bullish and then futures opened and everything dumped. So right now the S&P 500 is down eight and a half percent. Bitcoin is bouncing absolutely on the hourly time frame, but we zoom out and look at the four hour exponential resistance, which has kept the price contained this entire bounce attempt and it is still doing so at this point. So I consider anything under 6,000 as a four hour lower high and the bulls will need to change the four hour trend pretty much for just watching two supports, 44.32 and 38.58 and resistance, the line in the sand level is 6,000. You're gonna have a ton of bulls watching that level and a ton of bears watching that level and you better believe there's a whole bunch of shorts that are going to cover when that level breaks but that level has to break. So daily time frame, low of the dump, high of the bounce. Could it be a daily bear flag? Absolutely. Headed back down. And so far the bulls are negating the possibility of the bear flag. So if you see that bounce that happened on Bitcoin, you look at SPY, the morning bounced as well. SPY has now been pulling back for a couple of hours. Bitcoin has not. So the correlation broke. But it's always worth watching for, most specifically around 9.30 when the market opens. Correlations are always shifting. They're coming and going depending on what time of day. And it's worth paying attention to in this current market environment. And Bitcoin also gave us a clue. We had a two-minute equilibrium this morning after the bell rang. Right here. Look when the bull break occurred. Bull break happened on gold at 10.18. It happened on Bitcoin the next candlestick at 10.20. And we looked at that and said, hey, that's a clue. SPY might look to break bull here. And SPY broke bullish at 1026. So six minutes after Bitcoin breaks bullish, S&P 500 breaks bullish. And there was a lot of upside after that bull break. So there's clues out there among these correlations worth keeping an eye on. Bitcoin dominance chart. Not really a whole bunch of information here. We have a double top at 6648 to be watching. And I would need to see a clear bull break. Pretty much at this point, what I'm just watching for is can Bitcoin go up faster than altcoins can go up in a significant way? Because as we've been pointing out, all of these bull moves are just the crypto space dropping and Bitcoin dropping slower than the altcoins. ETH, daily higher low, trying to form as well. Pretty much everybody that we're going to be looking at here is doing the same thing on the daily chart with that higher low attempt. Still a lower high every single day for the last nine days in a row. So no daily bounce here looking for that lower high until that pattern breaks. Four hour time frame, exponential resistance, just looking for a four hour lower high on this bounce. Bulls have to change the four hour trend if we're gonna believe that they can have bounce follow through. ETH BTC is dropping back down towards its low as well. So Bitcoin gaining strength on ETH over the last three days. Bulls really wanna hold the support level on ETH because if that breaks, we continue pull back on the weekly time frame, losing ground against the Bitcoin bulls. Litecoin, high or low trying to form, bulls need to break $39. Four hour time frame, just looking for a lower high, anything under 39, need a four hour trend change for any shift in momentum. XRP, daily high or low, four hour lower high. Exponential resistance, anything under 16.6, just a lower high, doing the same thing as everybody else. BNB, daily high or low trying to form. You guessed it, have to change the four hour trend. Just a lower high at this point. Visual guide of the four hour 12 period exponential resistance driving the price down in a four hour downtrend that has to change. XTZ, daily high or low. Four hour time frame, just looking for a lower high. Everybody's doing the same thing. Correlation very strong. Link, more close to being a double bottom and that's better for the bulls. If I'm looking to bottom fish on Bitcoin and I'm, that's the only support level we have to go off of, that low of the dump, and I'm trying to make a bullish entry, if I were scaling in this morning, 
Look at the amount of risk I have on that trade. Let's say I even nailed the bottom at 4,450. My risk before getting stopped out is 15%. I have to either use a very small position to account for that huge volatility or just slowly scale in and wait for more orders closer to that support. But the bottom line is a name like Link, that risk was about three to 4%, huge difference. So when you are top fishing and bottom fishing, you ideally wanna get really close to that level so you can have that as a clear exit point. So we did hold it on Link, but we're just looking for a four hour lower high at this point. It could be even a four hour bear flag if we can't get over these exponential resistances. BCH USD, higher low is established. Anything under 192 is a four hour lower high, have to change the trend. And BSV, same thing. Bulls need to break 115.64, four hour lower high currently forming. So it's worth watching SPY here at the end of the day. Might not have any direct here and now implication, but it will tell us, are we gonna stay weak into tomorrow? Big bull move to start the morning, an 8% bounce in the overall market. And now at this point, we have given back 4% of that. And we're looking for a half hour higher low and an hourly higher low and an attempted trend change. But if we just fade back with the bears keeping control until the close, bears will have confidence in this market still. And any leg lower that we see in markets is going to increase the odds that Bitcoin drops to a lower low unless we start to see some inverse correlation, which everybody would hope to see in the crypto space, but we haven't seen it yet. So I personally am still no longer interested in the crypto space right now. That break of 6,400 was very key for me. Again, if you are focusing only on crypto, by all means, keep doing it. There's great volatility. It's just the fees do not warrant it for me at this point in time. Daily downtrend will be a guide and keeping an eye on this tightening range for the next couple of days and looking for a break of this tightening range to dictate short-term direction. So hope you are well. Stay extremely protective out there. Across the board, we are getting messages and I'm sure every service like ours is getting messages of people blowing up their accounts, whether it's the MJ sector falling apart, whether it's crypto falling apart, I've lost 250 out of $300,000 and now I'm at risk of losing my house. What should I do? Stop losses on every single trade. Do not trade with more than you are willing to have go to zero. Stay extremely protective in all directions. Bears can't get cocky in crypto or the general markets as well. And stay disciplined. Otherwise, you will blow up your account. Hope that does not happen. I hope you make a million. Do good things. Stay patient with everybody out there. Emotions running high. We'll see you soon. Boo belly.